Hello everyone. I hope you all must be missing your school and teachers. The morning assembly, fruit break and the recess time. You all also must be missing your PT periods where you all play together. So today, to remember all these big and small memories of your school, let's start with an interesting lesson. The school, my second home. The school, my second home. Dear students, I am sure you all know that school is our second home, where teachers love you and guide you just as your parents do at home. And just like your brothers and sisters, you, you have friends. Now open your books to page number 29, unit 6, The School, My Second Home. Page number 29, unit 6, The School, My Second Home. Let's start reading. How nice it is to be at home. When we are with the parents, brothers and sisters, we are really happy. Now. Do we know there is a second home for us? Yes, it is our school. At the place of the parents, we have teachers here. They love and guide us just as our parents do. The students in our school are just like our brothers and sisters. September. 5 is observed as Teacher's Day. We should never forget to wish the teachers on this special day dedicated to them. We should respect our teachers because they give us knowledge. The best way to love our teachers is to study well. Never forget to wish the teachers on their birthdays and other occasions. So dear students, Teacher's Day is on September 5. You always remember to wish them on this special day as it is observed as Dr. S. Radhakrishnan's birthday. We should give respect to teachers as they are the source of knowledge. The best way to show your love is to study well. You must always wish a teacher on special occasions. Now turn to page number 30 and read the story Surdas and his teacher. Surdas and his teacher. Surdas was intelligent and thirsty for knowledge, but he was short-tempered. He got angry even for silly things. It even affected his studies. Therefore, the teacher decided to make Surdas free from anger. The teacher asked Surdas to chant God's name while doing all his activities for one month and then meet him. Surdas followed the teacher's instructions. After one month, he went to meet his teacher. On his way to the teacher's house, a sweeper on the street carelessly put dirt on his clothes. Surdas got angry and scolded the sweeper. He went home, changed clothes and then met his teacher. The teacher told Surdas that he was not yet ready to learn. He had to chant God's name for another month. Surdas returned sadly and continued to chant God's name for another month. After a month, he went to his teacher's house 
and the same thing happened again. Surdas again became, became really angry and blamed the sweeper. After bathing, he met his teacher. He asked Surdas to chant God's name for one more month. After one month, Surdas went to meet his teacher. The same incident happened for the third time. However, he did not get angry. He thanked the sweeper for helping him to overcome anger. This time, the teacher accepted him as a disciple. A teacher knows what a student is lacking of and knows the way to teach him. As students, we must have faith in the teacher and follow his or her instructions. Let me explain the lesson in a simple words. Surdas was a brilliant boy who was eager to gain knowledge. But because of his short temper, he gets angry for small, small things. Therefore, his study was also affected. So his teacher decided to do something for him. The teacher asked Surdas to take God's name while doing all his work or activities. And the teacher also asked him to meet after one month. While going to the teacher's house after one month, he met a sweeper who has spoiled his clothes. Surdas got angry and shouted at the sweeper. Surdas went back home and changed his clothes. The teacher told Surdas that he is not yet ready and continue to chant God's name for one more month. After a month, the same thing happened on the way and Surdas got angry. He went back home and changed his clothes. Again, the teacher told him to take God's name for one more month. Again, Surdas met his teacher. And the same thing happened on the way. But Surdas thanked the sweeper to overcome his anger. And this time the teacher welcomed him as his disciple. So dear students, we as teachers know where you are lacking and we know how to teach you to help overcome your weaknesses. Have faith in your teachers and follow their instructions. That's all for today. Have a good day. Thank you and be good students and respect your teachers.